<laughs> you know, I've got to say, I was a bit anxious about meeting you guys. I'm an introvert. But I know now that Sarah has incredible taste in friends. You guys are amazing. That's really such a compliment, especially coming from Tom. He's the head curator of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. You can really trust his opinion. That's quite the job. That's incredible. Oh, I almost forgot. All this time talking about ourselves. Andrea quit her desk job to become a full-time comedian. Me, a comedian. Can you believe it? <laughs> Impressive. Where are you performing? We'd love to come see. Oh, I haven't performed in front of people yet. Andrea, show Tom that routine you did last week. It is hilarious. You have to see it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, come on, babe. You're a comedian now. Show him what you got. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Yes! Ah. I'm so nervous. Um, here's an impression of Stephen Hawking doing an impression of a cowboy. Howdy, partner. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> Oh, 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 do an old person. Hmm? I'm an old person. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do a Stephen Hawking impression of a tree. I'm a tree. I'm a tree. <laughs> I am a tree. <laughs> <laughs> you are ready for prime time, baby. <laughs> You're like a mix of Sarah Silverman and Betty White. And Carrot Top. That was brilliant. What do you think of her talent, honey? The routine was, was interesting. You guys seem to enjoy it. So. That Stephen Hawking impression of a tree? That was spot on, babe. I felt like I was in a forest. You probably loved that too, didn't you, Tom? Wow, <laughs> put me on the spot there. <laughs> It's not really about what I think. No, I insist. We want your opinion. We want your honest, unfiltered opinion. It was really something. It's all right, Tom. We're all adults here. And she's a professional comedian now. She's got tough skin. Okay. Well, um, I'm not an expert in comedy, but you know, an impression of Stephen Hawking isn't inherently complex. It's more than just capturing a monotone voice. It's the essence of character that counts. Plus, the impressions of him doing impressions of other people, it's a bit like cheating. The impressions were all the same. Honey, that was a bit harsh, don't you think? Oh, would you look at that? We're at a pie. I'll go get more pie in the kitchen. Honey? <laughs> Excuse me. Honey. What was that? They asked for my honest opinion like five times. Look, they're nice people, but that was really bad. She was incredible. You better say something nice to her when she gets back. The pie is really good. Also, uh, it takes courage to perform in front of people like that. Good job being brave. Thanks, I guess. That seemed a bit forced. You're acting weird. No, it's okay. I'll take the high road here. I forgive you, Tom. As Shakespeare said, all's well that ends well. <laughs> um, so, uh, Tom, this might be something that interests you. Should I really show them my paintings, babe? Yes, of course. A chance for Tom to redeem himself. After all, he is a curator. <laughs> Mark, you've been painting? That's great. <laughs> yes, I've uh, been dabbling a little bit. <laughs> oh, he's being modest. He's too modest. Babe, you're too modest. This is great. Art is my thing. Let's see it. Now, before I show you these, I should mention that these are deeply personal. I have been using art to work through some of my mental issues and some of my childhood trauma. Um, but I'm finding this process to be very therapeutic. And the, my therapist is very pleased with the progress I'm making, but more than that, I really feel like I am discovering my life's purpose along the way.
<laughs> I'm so sorry. This isn't right at all. Oh, for a second, I thought that was the painting. Yes, this is stunning. So real, so raw. That would be the noodles. <gasps> that is better than the paintings at your museum. I literally felt the universe guiding my hand to some elusive truth. I hope that doesn't sound too pretentious. Oh, this is brilliant. You're a true professional. I like the sound of that, thank you. And uh, well, Tom, as a professional, I would love to hear what you have to say. Um, as a curator, your opinion means the world to me. Well, uh, the work is interesting. The use of colors, the finger painting. The canvas is good quality. That's not an opinion, Tom. That's just observations. The sky is blue. Anyone can say that. Wait. The sky is blue. The sky is blue. <laughs> Look, I don't know what you want me to say. How about saying his work is a divine gift? A gift from God, Tom. It's a divine gift. I don't think you really meant that. <sighs> okay, fine. I didn't. This work is below average. It's very basic. It lacks depth and consistency. Look, I'm not gonna hit a few keys on a piano and call myself a concert pianist. You're not a professional artist. No offense. No offense? You can't just say whatever you want and then say, no offense. What is wrong with you? Are you okay, babe? Yeah, I'm... I'll just call Dr. Rosenthal and we'll schedule another appointment. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. We need to talk in the kitchen. No. Do you hate these people? What did they do to you, Tom? You crossed a line, a serious line. What did they do to me? I tried to be nice. They were just pushing and pushing and I tried to be discreet. Hey, Tom, what do you think? Tom, what's your opinion? Tom, be honest. And then you joined it. You're one of them. It's just, this is a dream. It's a bad, it's a bad dream. I'm dreaming. Snap out of that dream, because you are embarrassing me in front of my friends, and they're gonna think I am dating a crazy person. Tom here is gonna apologize to the both of you. Tom? I'm sorry if I came across as harsh. I didn't mean to rustle any feathers. They're not birds, Tom. Well, that didn't sound convincing. You are just like my father. I was never good enough for him either. You make me want to eat. Way to undo six months of therapy, Tom. This is extremely uncomfortable. It's not working for me. Well, it's not working for us either. You can find a ride home, right? It's been nice, but maybe we should date other people, okay? Okay. Wait, so to be clear, you're breaking up with me. I am breaking up with all of this. Bye. No, Tom, don't go. No. Oh, you guys were great. I hate being the bad guy and breaking up with someone, so having him break up with me, so much easier. And your plan, it worked perfectly. And that was quite the performance. Do you think he'll try to call you and patch things up? Oh, no, not a chance. That was brutal. That's too bad. He seemed like a nice guy. Yeah, but his breath was horrible. And like, honestly, I could never tell him that directly. I would have to be a psychopath. Of course, gross. <laughs> that would be awkward. <laughs> You make me want to eat.